Hi, William Cato here, and welcome to my review of the Zondervan New Mark Reference Bible. This Bible I've had in my possession for over 33 years. <clears throat> and on the back, this is the box of it. It says New Mark Reference Bible, Contents King James Version, Chain of Reference System, Major Themes of Scripture, Printed in Color, Center Column Reference, Long primer, self-pronouncing type, 16 pages of full color maps, 164 page concordance, which is pretty good, that's a good concordance. Bible study aids, 5,500 questions and answers. Now how many Bibles has that? That would be great for Sunday school or Bible study or even blogging. Presentation page, family record and marriage certificate. Of course, it has the style modeling and 11 indicated in the thumb index book. Now, let's take a look at it. Like I said, I've had this Bible for over 33 years. My mother in law purchased it for us. Took me and my wife out to Eldon, Missouri, and, and uh, we bought the Bible. I'm going to stand up here so I can see, so you can see more pronounced. This is me and my wife where we were married. And it was presented by my mother-in-law, Mary Jo Shelton. And this is the New Marked Reference Bible. Old and New Testament, Salvation in Red, Holy Spirit in Green, Temporal Blessings in Tan, and Prophetic Subjects in Blue. Let's go ahead and open up another page. Of course, it starts out with the King James, how it was authorized. If you're familiar with the television show on BBC as Rain, where Mary, Queen of Scots, King James is her son. He actually gave us the English version of the Bible because he probably noticed that a lot of priests were actually selling salvation back at that time. Let's see if I can get this Bible to turn. Here's your table of contents. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and turn the page. And this is the explanation of the color markings and chain reference. Salvation is in red, Holy Spirit in green, temporal blessings in tan, and prophetic subjects in blue. Now, as you can see, these are the subjects. We had salvation. Back on this page, page one. It's a little rainy out here, so some of my pages might be sticking together for some reason. And that goes all the way to R. Of course, you have it, your temple, your Holy Spirit, temporal blessings here. Sorry, I have to hold the cell phone with one hand while I do this. I don't have no holder. Now, if you're looking and saying, wow, I think I've seen this before, Bible Fandom had, had done a review on this exact Bible, except for in hard copy. And I noticed that a few days ago. This, of course, is where I'm at. Let me show you how, the chain, how that reference system works. And that's my daughter being baptized. And I use that for a marker. Now, see, here's salvation and there's the R and if you want to look those up let me go back here I also had it marked where my daughter was being dunked and R repentance confession restitution and then these are your chapter verses which if you will go back to those you'll see that it's in pretty good type. This is Samuel chapter 25. And as you can see in my hand, you see the type size, which I think is probably a 9 or 10. Not too great with my. No beta. Yes, it's the Bible. 
It's the Holy Bible. There's St. Matthew. Yes, Obedia is a book of the Bible. Not too many preach on it. And yeah, not too many people read it. Well, let me go on back here. As you can see, these are the 5,500 questions. Of course, it has Harmony of the Gospels. All throughout there. And it tells you a little bit more about the Old Testament chronology. If I get back to the beginning of that. Of course, this is the book of Revelation. And it's really marked up with the highlights. And this is probably the precursor to the Rainbow Bible. This one was printed in 1983. I, it was purchased by my mother-in-law from me and my wife in 1985. And it's the Bible in all its contents. This is the page that I wanted to see. Of course, there's a reference that tells you exactly what you get there. It's the Bible Reader's Helps, related to the study and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. And this is the book of the Old and New Testament and of the Apocrypha. Which, don't, this Bible does not have the Apocrypha in it. And there's two Apocryphas, one for the Old Testament and one for the New Testament. And the reason why a lot of the Apocrypha is not put in the Bible and considered scriptures because a lot of it could, have been, could be thought of as, as forgeries. I've read a couple of the New Testament apocryphs and the characters of normal Bible does not seem to fit and which I can probably pretty conclude with the rest of the scholars, with other with scholars, which I'm not a scholar, but by scholars that it, they were forgeries. And it has a table of prophetic books. Between the Ages and the Birth of Christ. The Harmony of the Gospels. 5,500 questions and answers on the Holy Bible. This would be great for anybody doing Sunday school, pastors. And as you can see, what was the Bible name of Adam's first child? Cain, Genesis 4.11. And there's a lot of hard questions. And if you're a blogger, a Christian blogger, you can use these questions and answers. And basically ask the question with your title and answer it inside of your post. The concordance is a pretty good concordance. Then we're going to get into the maps, which is heavy card stock. A lot heavier than the, than the uh, pages of the Bible. This is the Exodus. Let's see if the camera will focus. Well, and that's my review of this Bible. It's a really good Bible. I've looked on I've looked on a site called I've looked on a site called bookfinder.com and I found about 8 of these Bibles. A couple of them were at Amazon, Biblio, and they all started around $93. But this if you're looking for a good study Bible, this is a really good one. I use this every day. And thanks for listening, and thanks for watching. Bye.